Well, joining us on the News at 10 is Professor Tahir Maman, Senior Advocate of Nigeria and also the Vice-Chancellor of Beijing University, Abuja. Many thanks for joining us on the News at 10. This judgment from Port Harcourt is coming about 39 days to the elections. What do you make of the timing? The timing is certainly a problem for the party uh, because the INEC is not going to stop its uh, program and activities because of problems, uh, internal problems to parties. And uh, it has about 90 parties to deal with, so APC is not the only party. Now, what has happened in reverse is probably a very good demonstration of uh, uh, a phrase usually used when we had uh, east-west problems uh, during the Cold War. The, 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 word, the phrase used was mad, mutual assured uh, destruction. And um, here we have a party which is factionalized, and this factionalization, uh, this tussle for power now dating back to, going back to uh, the struggle over the Congress and then the uh, primaries, uh, which have led to dis disobedience of court order and the uh, rule of law during the, along the line. And basically, the courts, especially the Supreme Court, have been very emphatic on uh, any institutions or people acting outside judicial decisions. Once there's a court decision on the matter, it becomes inviolate. Uh, that decision is an uh, subsisting uh, law that can um, only be discharged or set aside by a superior court. So until that happens, any further action or proceedings based on it will be a nullity. It's interesting. And, um, so. Professor Mamman, it's interesting you mentioned that because the judge was quoted to have said that the APC for failing to obey the law must bear the consequences, sadly taking both factions back to square one. Uh, but, you know, have we witnessed anything of this nature in past elections? Do you think this judgment would affect the, the play of politics in the forthcoming elections in River State? Oh, certainly it will, because unless APC are able to get around this uh, decision. It means they are going to the elections without candidates at all these levels which uh, the courts have decided. And uh, the options are really, they are running out of options because the usual approach advised by lawyers is to go on appeal. Uh, but in the present situation, I'm not too sure how appeal will salvage them. And in any case, the Supreme Court have actually sent them back to uh, the lower court. I remember uh, the basis, the foundation for this problem is actually the illegality or decision of subsisting court over the congresses which uh, were held. And so appeal may not salvage uh, that process. The other option open to them will be uh, order of mandamus that could address both the issue of the congresses and the issue of the primaries taken together. But again, for that to happen, uh, the two warring factions will have to agree to work together. Otherwise, any further step taken by one of them could be challenged by the other, and it will not become a vicious cycle by, by, by all of them until the elections are concluded. What about the Independent National Electoral Commission? What should they be doing now? and also in the coming days ahead when uh, we know maybe one of the factions will be appealing, um, and also perhaps the future for political parties? The option, and it has only one option, which is to obey the order of the court. And uh, until a decision, a separate, another decision comes up, either by a speed of court or, the child. yeah, it can only by a speed of court, then uh, there's nothing else that it can do. Uh, in the matter other than to wait. And um, it already has its timelines. As I said, it cannot freeze because of um, problems in one party. The question about political parties now, um, learning from this, uh, as of course our electoral laws and general elections uh, build as we grow that in Nigeria, 
Uh, what do you think political parties need to do um, looking ahead at the future of elections in Nigeria? I think um, the decision of the courts all along since 1999 have helped in no small measure actually in getting parties to play according to the rules, their own internal rules, electoral act and the laws of the land. Uh, the parties have been behaving like they are, some of them, if not most of them, have been behaving like we are in a jungle. And uh, in the political process of Nigeria now, they seem to be the weakest uh, link, actually. ILA has been growing and uh, demonstrating commitment to rule of law and doing things right. And, uh, but the political parties have been weighing everybody down. Uh, so it's through this intervention, the courts have been helping immensely actually in growing the rule of law and constitutionalism in Nigeria. And I think uh, they should continue to be commended for that. And in any case, to, to, uh, by way of an irony, the party should also be encouraged and commended for, for going to court uh, instead of resorting to self-help. Because as we grow, move in this direction, we will continue to grow our uh, law and order and, uh, you know, acting according to law, both uh, rules of the parties and then the national uh, frame, legal framework for doing, organizing our political process. I'd like to thank you, Professor Tahir Mamman, Vice-Chancellor, Bayes University, Abuja, for joining us on the News at 10.